Weather and climate, two terms we hear often, but what do they mean in scientific terms? Let's start with weather. Weather refers to the short-term conditions of the atmosphere. It's what's happening outside your window right now. Is it sunny or cloudy? Hot or cold? Is it raining or maybe snowing? These are examples of weather and it can change in a matter of hours or days. Now, climate is something different. Climate describes the average weather conditions in a region over a long period of time, usually 30 years or more. It's not about what the weather is doing today or tomorrow, but the overall patterns that define a place. For example, many deserts have hot and dry climates, while rainforests are known for being warm and wet. So what's the key difference? Weather is what happens in the moment, like a sudden rainstorm or a chilly morning. Climate, on the other hand, is the bigger picture, showing us the long-term trends that shape how we live and the ecosystems around us. A closer look at climate. Climate is the long-term average of weather patterns in a specific area. Unlike weather, which can change in minutes or hours, Climate focuses on trends and conditions that persist for decades or even centuries. It's shaped by factors like temperature, humidity, precipitation, wind, and the seasons. But why does climate matter? It's a fundamental part of life on Earth. Climate determines what kinds of plants can grow in a region, the animals that can survive there. And how humans live and work. From the frozen tundras to tropical rainforests, every climate zone supports unique ecosystems and lifestyles. When climate changes, it can dramatically impact ecosystems. For example, warmer temperatures might push some species to migrate, while others struggle to survive. Humans are also deeply affected. Agriculture, water supply, and even the way cities are built all depend on the climate. Understanding climate helps us prepare for these challenges and adapt to our ever-changing world. How do we classify climates? Scientists use systems to classify climates to better understand the patterns and differences around the globe. The most widely used system is the Köppen Climate Classification System. This system organizes Earth's climates into major categories based on three key factors. Temperature, precipitation, and geography. Temperature determines whether a region is hot, cold, or somewhere in between. Precipitation considers how much rainfall or snowfall an area receives throughout the year. Geography plays a crucial role too. Mountains, oceans, and distance from the equator all influence the climate of a region. 
The Köppen system divides climates into five main groups. Tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar. Each group has subcategories that account for finer differences, like the length of rainy seasons or the intensity of winters. By classifying climates, scientists can better study the planet's systems, predict future changes, and understand how humans and nature adapt to different conditions. It's like creating a map of the Earth's weather over time, a vital tool for planning and survival. Main Types of Climates The Earth's diverse climates are divided into several main types, each with unique characteristics that shape the environment and the life it supports. Let's explore these climates and what makes them distinct. Tropical Climates Tropical climates are known for their high temperatures and abundant rainfall throughout much of the year. These climates are typically found near the equator, in regions like the Amazon rainforest in South America, the Congo Basin in Africa, and Southeast Asia. There are two main subtypes, tropical rainforests, which experience year-round rain and lush vegetation, and tropical savannas, which have a mix of wet and dry seasons, supporting grasslands and scattered trees. These areas teem with life. From towering trees to diverse animal species adapted to the warmth and moisture, Dry climates. Dry climates are characterized by low precipitation and arid conditions, making them some of the most challenging environments on Earth. They are divided into two subtypes, deserts and steppes. Deserts, like the Sahara in Africa and the Gobi in Asia, receive minimal rainfall often less than 25 centimeters a year. Plants and animals here have remarkable adaptations, such as deep roots, water storing tissues, and nocturnal habits to survive the heat. Steps, on the other hand, are semi-arid grasslands, often found on the edges of deserts. While they receive slightly more rain than deserts, they still face water scarcity. These regions are critical for grazing and agriculture in some parts of the world. Temperate climates. Temperate climates are known for their moderate temperatures and distinct seasons, making them some of the most comfortable for human habitation. Examples include the Mediterranean climate, with its hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters, and the oceanic climate, which features mild temperatures year-round and steady rainfall. These climates support fertile lands ideal for farming, allowing crops like olives, grapes, and wheat to flourish. Human settlement thrives in these regions, with major cities like Rome and Paris located in temperate zones. Continental climates. Continental climates are marked by extreme temperature variations between summer and winter. These climates are typically found in the interiors of continents, away from the moderating influence of oceans. Summers can be warm, while winters are often bitterly cold. Regions like Eastern Europe, 
Russia, and parts of North America fall into this category. The long, harsh winters pose challenges for agriculture and daily life. But these climates also support unique ecosystems adapted to the cold, such as coniferous forests. Polar Climates Polar climates are the coldest on Earth with temperatures rarely rising above freezing. These climates are found near the poles in areas like Antarctica and the Arctic. They include two main subtypes, tundras and ice caps. Tundras have a layer of permafrost beneath the soil, allowing only hardy vegetation like mosses and shrubs to grow. Ice caps, on the other hand, are covered by thick sheets of ice year-round, leaving little room for plant life. Despite the harsh conditions, these regions are home to remarkable wildlife, including polar bears, seals, and penguins, as well as resilient human communities like the Inuit who have adapted to life in the cold. These five climate types, each with their unique challenges and opportunities, shape the way life exists and evolves on our planet. By understanding them, we can better appreciate the diversity of environments that make Earth so extraordinary. Climate zones and human life. Climate shapes nearly every aspect of human life, from the food we grow to the homes we build. In tropical climates, people often rely on crops like rice and bananas that thrive in warm, wet conditions. In dry climates, water scarcity influences how communities source and conserve this vital resource. Temperate climates, with their moderate seasons, allow for a variety of agricultural and industrial activities, making these regions hubs of human settlement. Meanwhile, in polar and continental climates, people have adapted by using advanced technology to stay warm. Transport goods and grow food in challenging environments. Climate change and its impact. Human activities are altering the planet's climate at an unprecedented pace. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes are releasing greenhouse gases that trap heat in the atmosphere. This leads to rising global temperatures melting polar ice, and shifting weather patterns. The impacts are far-reaching. Coastal regions face rising sea levels, threatening cities and homes. Droughts and heat waves are becoming more severe, jeopardizing food and water supplies. Biodiversity is also at risk as plants and animals struggle to adapt to rapidly changing conditions. But there's hope. By understanding climate change, we can take steps to mitigate its effects. Transitioning to renewable energy, protecting forests, and adopting sustainable practices are just some of the ways we can make a difference. Recognizing the urgency of these actions is key to ensuring a stable and healthy future for our planet. Why understanding climate matters. Climate is more than just the weather outside. It's a powerful force that shapes ecosystems, influences human life, and drives the planet's natural systems. 
From the lush rainforests to the icy polar regions, every climate tells a story of adaptation and survival. By learning about the world's climates and how they're changing, we gain a deeper appreciation for our planet and the challenges we face. This knowledge empowers us to make informed decisions, protect the environment, and create a sustainable future. Don't forget to subscribe!